Good Arvo! Today is Wednesday and I'm going to be doing a video that is different than anything I've done before. I'm going to be doing a video on the food that I have found very yummy or very interesting here in Australia. Now let's get into this. First would be pies or mince pies as my husband would say. They don't say ground beef like I would say. Everything is mince. And what they do is put tomato sauce. We would call it ketchup. They put tomato sauce on the top. So these two together, I find they're very, very yummy. Brekkie is breakfast. Australia, they like to shorten words, which is fine. Like Arvo and Brekkie, they're just shortened words for breakfast and afternoon, which is pretty cool. I think it's cute. This is a cereal that my husband usually eats. Okay, he's more of a cereal guy in the morning. I'm more of a toast person. A little information you probably didn't care to know, but these are wheat biscuits. Like shavings of wheat are compressed and it's just the thick. I'll open it and show you. Okay, so or like a granola bar type thing. Yeah, it's as big as my forehead. But um, yeah, they're just really nice. It's not sweet, it's not too much. Um, it actually is really nice when you have that and then they put some oats with it and maybe a little bit of honey on top and with milk and it's really good. It'll keep you full for a very long time. Another thing, the one and only, Vegemite. When I came over here, I guess because of, I've watched YouTube videos before, before I came over, I watched a lot of YouTube videos about Australian food, Australian places, people, all of that. And Vegemite has a very, very bad name. I, th I think, I mean, I, I can be wrong, but um, Vegemite has a bad name because people will do like the American tries Australian food or tries Australian candy and somehow Vegemite makes it into one of those videos. And so they open it up and then they have a huge spoonful and they don't like it, okay? So I can understand why people don't like it and it has such a bad name because of just the, I guess the bad media that it has. Um, but this is actually very, very good. If you get a piece of really, really good bread and you toast it, then you put some butter on it and then you put some of this just a little bit on there it is very very good it's like a comforting piece of toast it's super random it smells like this is what i told my mom after the first time i had it it smells like the the cubes of beef bouillon that's bouillon and almost tastes like that too like the smell of that i don't know it's the easiest way i can explain it but it's really really good i promised my mom that when we come back over, we'll be we'll bring some of this over so that they can all try it because I just find it's very good. And slowly but surely, it's become a part of my breakfast. It's not that I have it every day, but it's actually very, very, very comforting to me. I don't know why, that's weird. I have found a new appreciation for tea. In Australia, everybody has tea all the time. And in America, where I'm from, in Florida, my family's kind of a Southern family. So we have sweet tea, which is, brewed black tea with sugar in it and then water and it's you pour it over ice and it's sweet tea but here everything is hot tea my favorite by far is black tea with um, some honey and then some milk and it can just make my day last but certainly not least I definitely saved the best for last this is Cadbury chocolate Cadbury chocolate is the most amazing chocolate in the entire world. I do not know what it is, but it is so much smoother, it's milkier. This one has little bits of, um, it's like a lighter, creamier white chocolate in the middle, and then it has like crunchy parts. It's supposed to be like an Oreo within the chocolate. By far, the most amazing thing ever. I mean, they have caramel koalas, which is, like a, the shape of a koala with caramel in it. Then there's um, a Fred, a frog that's named Fred. Okay, those things to die for. Everything that I've had that's Cadbury so far has been just incredibly amazing. And you know when you're eating Cadbury chocolate because of the way that it tastes. Shoot me, I'm probably wrong, but that's my personal opinion. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very, very different than normal, but I just wanted to show some of the people who might be interested in the food in Australia that um, this is what it's looked like and this is what it tastes like. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I'm gonna do a Q&A video again soon if I have enough questions to do. I've really enjoyed my journey so far. It's been, it's actually been two months now. 